in 1972, Penang, a small state in Malaysia, became the second hub to Intel's semiconductor manufacturing facilities right outside the US. It's been 51 years since then and Penang today is one of the largest semiconductor manufacturing ecosystem for Intel. In fact, during the peak of the global chip shortage in 2021, Intel decided to expand Penang's facility with an investment of over $7 billion. Well, today we are in Penang and we are going to take you behind the scenes of what it takes to manufacture those complex, tiny, minute chipsets, how it's packaged, how it's tested, validated, it's designed and more. Did you know that there are actually two very distinct processes that go into making the tiny chipsets that power all our devices? One is the semiconductor fabrication and then comes the ATM which is assembly, test and manufacturing. For Intel, the actual semiconductor fab happens in US facilities. This involves converting raw silicon into 300mm circular disc-like structures. These are called wafers. These wafers are then transferred to Malaysia, which is where the assembly, test and manufacturing hub for Intel is. In Malaysia, there are two processes that happen at two different facilities. The wafers are first sent to the facility in Kulim, where they go through a process called dye sort, dye prep. Here, the wafers get cut into chips, each having its own integrated circuits through a series of processes. This involves grinding, laser scribe and mechanical cutting. This is an extremely fine and intricate process. If you notice, this room has amber lighting. This is consciously done as the propriety glue on which the wafer is stuck prior to cutting. That is sensitive to UV radiation. After all of this, the individual chips are then placed into transfer media which move on to subsequent sort operations. In the sort operation, the chips are basically tested for defects and performance metrics. This is done through a module of 20 individual test cells. These test cells too are built in-house by Intel. Basically what they are testing is the circuit of each chip. This is done using a probe card. The second part of the process happens in the Penang facility where chips finally get packaged into CPUs or processors and then they are ready to be dispatched to customers. There are six complex stages that the chipset goes through here including chip attach in which the silicon chips are attached to a printed circuit board and lid attach in which the circuit is covered with a lid and then the burn-in test in which the final CPU is stressed at high temperatures and high voltage to figure out if there are any defects. This is how a final CPU or processor unit with the lid attached looks like. Intel is currently gearing up for the launch of its 14th generation processor, which is codenamed Meteor Lake. Meteor Lake will be the first ever processor to have inbuilt AI capabilities, which will then decide how it fares in the ongoing AI war with other chip makers. Today, Intel is seeing increasing competition from market players like TSMC, Samsung, and NVIDIA. The company is on track to regain its product and technology leadership by 2025 and Intel is also working to expand its foundry services business globally. Well, let's see what's in for the company next and stay tuned for more such videos on Money Control.